Hola amigos, this is Somvir and welcome to Learning Boards. In this video series, we are going to develop a chatbot for businesses. For example, I want to inquire a gym. I want to know the timings, I want to know the fees. So, I will text them on WhatsApp about the issue and the chatbot will automatically reply to me. It will not be a person who will reply, it will be a chatbot. We will be using Python, Twilio and Flask to do all of this. But before diving into the series, let's quickly have a demo how it will work. So if I open my WhatsApp here, we can see I am using the Twilio trial account for the trial of my chatbot. If I send any message, let's say hi, the chatbot will reply with hi there, how can I help? So if I ask what is the timing, let's see what it gives. It says we are open from 6 am to 10 pm. Let's ask him what is the fees. It says the fees is 1000 rupees per month. Let's thanks the bot. It says my pleasure. So this is the basic functionality of our chatbot. This is on the very common data that I have used like timing and fees and thank you and hi. But we can expand our data as per our requirement. Let's see how to develop it from scratch. Before starting the project, let me show you what all we will cover in the series. So the series will have four video parts. In first one, we will cover data preprocessing and training of the data. We will train them using the TensorFlow. Then we will create the chatbot, the interaction between the user and the chatbot. In the third part of video series, we will use Flask to create an app so that we can interact with Twilio and we will use the Twilio account so that we can use the WhatsApp for our interaction. And in the last part, we will deploy the chatbot online so that we don't have to run it on our local machine and it will be available 24 seven. So moving on to the first part of the video, first of all, we will install the virtual environment, create a virtual environment for our project. Basically, we can understand virtual environment as a folder where we can dump all our project related files together. Once we create the environment, we will install all the dependencies like TensorFlow, NLTK, NumPy, etc. After that, we will create an intents.json file that will hold all the intents that we will create for the chatbot, how the user will ask questions and what responses can we expect from the chatbot. Once we create it, we will extract that data for our training for that we will use pandas and tokenizer so first of all we will remove the stop words from the sentence for example i you is the they are all very common english words so we will remove them and after that we will stem the sentence or the words of the sentence for example playing plays and played all becomes a single word keyword that is the base word we are stemming the words because we don't know what user may ask we will train the chatbot in such a way that it will take all the stem words and give reply based on that. After this, we will use the one-hot encoding technique to extract labels. We are using one-hot encoding because we are using softmax activation in the TensorFlow and what softmax activation will do is it will give probability of each tag or each label. So that probability will help us in determining what tag will be the final. We will use tokenizer to convert text into sequences of equal length we will get the maximum length of the sequence and the vocab size using tokenizer. After this, we will train the data on the collected stemmed sentences and the intents and we will use TensorFlow to train them. At the end of this video, we will try to save the model, the tokenizer and the maximum sequence length variable so that we can use them while we are creating our chatbot. Let's dive straight into the first part of the video that is creating virtual environment for our project. So first of all, we will go to desktop. On desktop, we will make a new directory with the name BB chat, business chat. We will get into the directory. Once we are inside the directory, we will install the virtual environment if we don't have one and we can install using this command and we will create the environment using this command. So once our environment is created, we will activate it. And to activate it, we will have to go into the scripts file and activate it and we have to activate here we can see our virtual environment is activated now we can install our dependencies 
there is an alternative if we are using anaconda we can use anaconda to make a new environment and install all our dependencies there it will also help in the same way as we have created an environment for us install all the dependencies let's move on to the next step of creating an intents.json file i will be using spider ide for that the intents.json file will look something like this i have already created it here we will have three things tag patterns and responses tags will be used to create labels patterns are usually the user query how user may ask so if i can say that user might ask hi hey how are you is anyone there hello and to this the chatbot should respond with any of this value and we have five tags goodbye thanks timings and fees we can manually create this intents.json file or we can use any program to do it as our intents.json file is created let's move on to the data preprocessing and training so this is what our training file will look like as it is a lengthy process i will try to walk you through the prepared program we import some dependencies like json pickle we will import nltk as we will be using nltk for removing english stop words from the sentence and stemming the words into their base words just a quick note here if we are using nltk for the first time we will have to download all these libraries which are required for the function to run properly we will import pandas and we will import some libraries of tensorflow that will help in training and converting text into sequences to scale the program to various businesses and different types of inquiry boards i have created a class data preprocessing that will take intents and convert it to sequences and it will automatically train them first of all we will initialize our class with intents and embedding an lstm dimensionality that is required for our training purpose first of all we will make use of the intents file to extract tags and the combination of user query and the tag we will extract these values using a simple for loop so we will go through every intent and extract tag from it we will append it to tags list along with this we will go through every patterns that are available in the intents file and we will attach a tag to it so at the last we will get tags and the combination of query and tag we will use pandas to create the data frame using the xy the combination of pattern and the tag we extracted from the last method at this point we have our tags as opening thanks fees like that we need to convert these values into integers as our tensorflow model won't be able to understand the language so we will create a simple tag map dictionary and we will use the map function of pandas to create the values opening thanks etc to the integer values once we convert the values into integers we will shuffle them using the sample so now our next step is to convert those sentences or patterns into the stemmed or the base word we will have this method get stemmed data frame first of all we will create a set of all the english stop words that are available we will initialize a stemmer we will get data frame from the last method after this we will create a new column as stemmed sentence that will convert the sentences into their base words to perform this action i'm using a lambda function so basically what we are doing here is we are taking a sentence taking out tokens if it is a stop word it will not be included in the sentence it will be removed or else it will be added to the word once all the stop words are removed from the sentence we will use stemmer to stem the words into their base words and at the last we will use join function to again create a string variable because in the next process we will be using tokenizer to convert the text into sequences from this method we will be taking out stemmed data frame to convert the text into sequence and making it ready for the training we will use this method of get training xy so here we will get tags from the get tag response method and we will get our data frame from the get stemmed data frame first of all we will be extracting labels for our training for that we will have to use the tag column of the data frame and we will one hot encode each row of that column according to the number of tags that are available we can achieve this one hot encoding using the two categorical 
from keras.utils module. We will give in the tag column extracted from the data frame and the length of tags, the number of tags we have. We will be using the stemmed sentence column from our data frame to initialize the inputs text. We will initialize the tokenizer. We will fit the tokenizer on our inputs. We will convert the text into sequences using tokenizer.txt text to sequences. As we already know that we can only give sequences of equal length to the TensorFlow model. For that we will extract the maximum length of our sequence. We will pad our sequences using the maximum length we have acquired and we will use the post padding method. We will take out the vocab using the word index of the tokenizer and adding 1 to it because the word index starts from 1 not 0 in tokenizer. Once we are done with all these steps, we will need to save our tokenizer and the maximum length sequence using pickle. So we will use pickle.dump to save our tokenizer and sequence length in our root directory. From this method, we will get padded sequence, labels, maximum length of sequences and vocab size. And we will use them in the next method that will be training. To train and build our model, we will use this method that is train data. In this method, we are not hard coding the embedding dimensionality and LSTM dimensionality, meaning the user can provide them. And if we want, we can change other dimensionalities also such as dropout or dense layers. In this method, we will get padded sequence labels, maximum length and vocab from our last method and that will be used to create and train our model. We will be using Keras functional APIs. First, we will define input which will take the size of maximum length. We will provide embedding layer so that the words can be converted into a matrix of integers. We will be using a dropout of 50% because we only have a limited amount of data and we don't want our model to train improperly. Next, we will provide one LSTM layer. We will provide one dense layer with 120 nodes. In our example, we are expecting one of five tags to be predicted by the model. So we are using five and we are using softmax function to give probability of each of the five tags. We will initialize the model using the model function from Keras. We will compile the model with optimizer Adam, categorical cross entropy loss and accuracy as matrix. We will fit the model on padded sequence and labels and we will run it for 100 epochs. We will save this model after training as per the required name. So whenever we are running model.fit, it will always provide a history argument and we will return that so that we can evaluate our model. With this method, our class definition is completed. Let's see the main body of the program. So we will open the intents.json file as intents and we will provide it for the initialization of object of class data processing. As all our methods in the class are interrelated, we just have to use the train data to process the data and train it. And as we discussed, we can give embedding dimensionality and LSTM dimensionality. And at the end, we will be getting history argument of our model.fit. If we try to run this program, we can see here that it started training. It runs for 100 epochs as described in the model and at the end we will save the model. So with this we come to the end of our part 1 of the video series. At the end of this video we are able to create intents.json file for our model and we use this intents file to extract tag and patterns from it and to train our NLP model on this data. In the next video we will see how this intents and model will be used to predict the tag for it and the chatbot will automatically provide response according to the user query. Also, the complete project files will be available from GitHub and the link will be provided at the end of part 4 video of this video series. So stay tuned and watch the complete series. See you in the next video. Until then, adios.